Flight Test, I'm David and this is Josh. Hi. Today we're reviewing a Black Hawk helicopter from Helimax. 143rd scale. This is the second helicopter we reviewed with that comes in 143 scale. Yeah, but this is a big difference. Even though it's the same scale, it's huge. Yeah, look at the difference. It's The other one was tiny compared to this one. Yes. And the other one was quite fast. Zazzy. It was so fast it was really hard to get the uh, get it on video. Yeah. So we ended up shooting this one as well and integrating both in the same video. Gotcha. Now, now there's some key differences with this one though. This one actually has a torque tube. Yes, it's using a torque tube in the back. Uh, so it's actually using a real tail instead of just a direct yeah. drive motor. And it's collective pitch on the tail. First time I've ever seen a collective pitch on a heli this small. I'm sure there are other helis like that, but the first time I've ever flown one and seen one. Now theoretically, we're not gonna try track because we wanna keep this around. Yeah, but, but it can fly upside down because the whole head is uh, collective pitch as well. It's 120 degrees CCPM and it uses a tag system, what they call a three axis gyro system, mm -hmm. which helps you to fly it stably. State stable. Yeah, it makes it stable. Yeah, and it, it makes it easier to fly. It really locks it in. And, and as far as all the, the helis, normally you don't get this kind of detail in helis three times no, the size. Look at the scale detail. It's crazy. Yeah. Like the small little plastic details. Uh, I'm sure they'll be broken pretty quickly. They, in the kit, they actually include extra spare parts of all the small details that you might break. So if you have big man hands like me and you crumple things, most likely they'll have some parts for it. Yes, most yeah. probably. I'll pull but, off the nose here. Yeah, this is pretty, this is such a cool uh, design. You so you can actually pull that off and it's it. using magnets. The whole thing is powered by a 3,800 oh, 3, KV brushless motor, brushless speed controller, flying up a two cell 600 battery instead of a one cell 600 battery, which the smaller Eurocopter used. It's kind of expensive at 300 bucks for the, uh, the, uh, the transmitter ready and 350 for the ready to fly. Now when they say transmitter ready, it's a tactic radio or you have to use the AnyLink, which is yes. pretty ingenious because the AnyLink enables you to use your favorite transmitter with uh, with the system. Out of the box it set up, it was good? Yeah, it was actually pretty straightforward. You wanna try it? I'd love to try it. Let's go. Wow, that's a saw blade. How is it? It's very stable. The, How the stick input. Pretty good. It, it's definitely locked in. I'll tell you what, the, the noise yeah. is crazy. Isn't it? It does not sound like a steel helicopter. No. But it looks really nice, doesn't it? It does. So it's a lot less twitchy than the uh, Eurocopter. You know, the Eurocopter is very twitchy everywhere. Yeah. But this is this is nice. Yeah, yeah the Eurocopter was much smaller. Yeah, look at this thing. It's, it's in the wind, it's, it's hands off. Wow. It's just crabbing just a little bit in the wind. So that's nice. Yeah, how would you say, compared to the Eurocopter, which was 100 bucks less ready to fly than this? I think I would go with the Eurocopter because I know one good crash on this thing. There's going to be a lot of repairing. I think it depends on what you're after. If you're after a really nice scale looking helicopter, you can pop out and like a like a fly-in and you're inside. Yeah. You take this out, people are gonna look oh, at yeah. it. Oh yeah, you're gonna have some fun with it. Well, the history behind it too. Yeah, exactly. This four blades are kicking a lot of wind, look at that. Yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? I'm amazed. Honestly, the scale detail of this, this should really be a heli three times bigger to get all the details on this. And the way it flew didn't fly like a small heli. No, it cuts the air really well. Even though it's really windy today, it's yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah. But, and also, first torque tube, first collective pitch tail. That's for this size, this is amazing. It is awesome. Now, frankly, I like the little one. Oh, you do? I like this one better. You like that one better? Yeah, the Eurocopter was way too twitchy and like it got out of control really fast. I prefer Zazzy. <laughs> I like the scale look. Yeah. However, I do not like the price. It's like 300 bucks for the uh, transmitter ready is quite a lot. Yeah, but you know what? You're, you're paying for the details. You're paying for the technology. When it's flying through there, it, it looks, looks awesome. good. It looks, it looks incredible. Awesome. So you're paying for what you're getting. It's just uh, it's quite a bit of money. Yeah. 
one main thing is I would not recommend this for beginners. Make no, sure you no, know no, how to fly a collective pitch heli because yeah. uh, I tried to roll the uh, the Zazzy Eurocopter. Yeah, and, uh, and that ended well. I, I got it once. I did, I did a, I don't know, a big rainbow kind of thing inverted and I thought, oh, this is great. I'm gonna try to roll. Don't do it. I'm sure people could do it all day long. It's not made to break like the Axe 100. We were hitting the ground left and right. Yeah. What a great heli. And I would say, if anything, get an Axe 100. They're very cost effective. Learn to fly. Go to this. Go to the Eurocopter. It's going to be a really great experience from there. And just keep in mind, you can't fly like an Axe 100. Yeah. So we want to thank Audible.com, our new sponsor for this episode. And they're not an RC company. No, they're actually an audiobook company that features over 100,000 titles. And brother, you're the reason I think they contact us because you love audiobooks. Yes, I listen to audiobooks all the time, especially when I'm building. Well, I actually listened to Stephen Hawking's The Grand Design just the other day. And it's a really good book. And you can go to audible.com slash flight test and download a free book. Our goal is to get you coupon codes, free products, not just have advertisement that doesn't serve your needs. So go to audible.com slash flight test, get your free download, and I bet you there'll even be some on Black Hawk helicopters. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Nope. But they, you like them. Yes, I do. I actually use it and I listen to audiobooks. Uh, aud audiobooks? Audiobook. Aud aud I can't even say. Uh, no, there's. Uh, audiobook. Aud audiobook. Aud audiobook. I said it too many times. Audiobook? <laughs> audiobook. Okay. No, they're actually an audiobook. <laughs> no, they're actually an audiobook. <laughs> okay. <laughs> we gotta save all of this. <laughs>